Oppo's latest offering is the R17 Pro, marketed as having the world's fastest charging technology. Often criticised as being an iPhone copycat, has Oppo done enough to make an impact in the already hyper-competitive smartphone market? The race to having a truly all-display phone has forced companies to place an ugly notch at the top of their devices to make space for the camera and sensors. Most look terrible, but the R17 Pro's minimalist teardrop notch is the best implementation I have seen. The phone has a beautiful 3D misted glass back, which transitions from blue to purple depending on how you're holding the device. The unique design is non-reflective, making it more resistant to fingerprints and smudges. The 6.4-inch AMOLED display is surrounded by thin bezels, giving the phone an impressive 91.5% screen-to-body ratio. And as with any AMOLED display, the inky blacks and vibrant colours make for a great viewing experience. The bottom of the phone houses a USB Type-C port, microphone and speaker. Sound quality is decent, but muffled when listening at high volume. The phone's curved edges feel great in the hand and the build quality is excellent. Overall, it's the best looking smartphone I've seen this year. The Oppo R17 Pro has 6GB of RAM, 128GB of storage and a Snapdragon 710 processor. Navigating the device is smooth and it has no problems with multitasking. It's disappointing that the phone doesn't have expandable storage, a 3.5mm headphone jack or a waterproof rating. I'm sure the phone will handle a few drops of rain, but you won't want to drop it in the pool over summer. Sitting on top of Android 8.1 is Oppo's ColorOS operating system. While ColorOS feels a lot like iOS, it makes for an easier transition if you've only previously used Apple devices. There's no significant bloatware, but the lack of an app drawer and the ability to hide apps from the home screen is frustrating. I was most surprised by the quality of the R17 Pro's camera system. Photos are bright and almost as good as those taken on a Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Unfortunately, there's no wide-angle lens and Oppo's software is subpar. The automatic scene recognition is useful and the camera takes excellent low-light shots, even if they are a little over-sharp. The ultra-night mode photos do take a moment to process, but the results are worth it. Video can be shot in 4K, and slow motion video can be recorded in 1080p. The phone includes SuperVOOC fast charging technology, which takes the phone from 0 to 40% in 10 minutes and is fully charged in 35 minutes. I would like to have seen wireless charging, but this SuperVOOC technology is the fastest wired charging I've seen in a smartphone. This phone has its flaws, but credit should be given to Oppo for its elegant design, in-display fingerprint reader and fast wired charging. For those who want a premium feeling smartphone that charges quickly, takes great photos and is priced under $1,000, the R17 Pro is worth considering.